Megan Councilman Aaron Banks says violent crimes in the city continue to rise and gun shows make it too easy for anyone to buy a gun. He wants to shut them down for one year so the city can investigate whether vendors are following the rules. But one vendor tells me this idea would only hurt the city of Jackson. City Councilman Aaron Banks is leading the discussion into a possible one-year shutdown of gun shows in the city. He says the goal is to not target the producers of the gun shows, but to investigate the vendors. We see evidence that there's a lack of background checks uh, and their concerns about uh, people with mental illness and even the sales of guns to juveniles. We spoke to one vendor, Joseph, who sells and trades firearms at gun shows in Jackson. He knows the rules. No handgun sales to anyone under 21. No rifle or shotgun sales to anyone under 18. Joseph says federally licensed dealers are the only ones required by law to do a background check. If they suspect somebody's buying the gun for someone else, which is called a straw buy, you know, like, like maybe Somebody might be a, a convicted felon, you know, and maybe they're putting somebody up to buying a firearm for them. If you're suspicious of that, then you may you may want to recommend doing a background check. Joseph says a one-year shutdown would be an infringement on everyone's rights. It's like somebody telling you what you can and can't do, what you can and can't buy at Walmart, you know. I mean, as long as you're playing by the rules, then everything should be kosher. Councilman Banks says the one-year gun show ban is one way to possibly get a handle on violent crime in Jackson. Armed car robbery is up 150 percent, and these are being committed by 13, 14, and 15-year-olds. There's no way you're not going to stop the crime rate around Jackson by controlling the gun shows. All you're going to do is make people go somewhere else to go to a gun show. You're just going to lose revenue in the city of Jackson. That's what you're going to do. And this vendor, Joseph, tells us the majority of violent crimes are committed with stolen firearms, not guns purchased at gun shows. Megan.